Hello everyone, my name is Jason Cyrus. I'm a motivational hypnotist, naturopath, and self-empowerment expert. To learn all my life-changing tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Wednesday. You know that terrible feeling when you see someone that you know you met before, but you just can't remember their name? What if you never had to feel that again? A few weeks ago, I needed a new battery for my watch. And I only been in this business one other time, and that was probably about two years ago. When I walked into the store, the owner got up from his chair, and he came over to me and he said, how can I help you? I said, I just simply need a new battery for my watch. So I took my watch off and I gave it to him. He changed the battery. I paid him, and on the way out the door, he said, have a great day, Jason. He never put my name in a computer, asked for any information, or looked up my credit card. Nothing. He barely even made eye contact with me. I was in his business two years ago and he remembered who I was. I'm telling you, I was truly impressed. A person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. In other words, if you want to leave a positive impression on someone to make them feel noticed, important, and valued, say their name. And that'd be great advice if not for one thing. So many of us, myself included, often struggle to remember the names of people we meet. Does that sound familiar? If you're anything like me, you probably meet new people on a fairly regular basis. And despite the best of intentions, it can be so easy to forget the name of the person that we just shook hands with or gave a fist pump to just 15 minutes ago. I got so tired of this problem that I began to read and study everything I could find on the art of remembering names. Over the years, I've come across a number of great tips and even developed a few of my own. And I'd like to share some of my favorites with you. So first of all, you gotta pay attention when someone is telling you their name. You can't be focused on the delicious hors d'oeuvres going by or thinking about who's playing on the TV in the, your favorite hockey game tonight, or thinking about what you're gonna say next. You need to pay attention to their name. You actually can improve your ability to pay attention using techniques such as mindfulness. Next, repeat the name back to the person out loud. When they say, hi, my name is Connor, you say, it's really nice to meet you, Connor. That simple act of processing the name and saying it out loud will really help you remember it. Make an association between the person's name and something that is meaningful to you. Whether it be something public like Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers or some person like I have a cousin that is named Connor. Form a mental image between your association and the person in front of you. Imagine the Connor that is in front of you holding a CCM hockey stick or lifting a Stanley Cup or fully dressed in the Edmonton Oilers hockey gear. Or imagine your cousin Connor doing jumping jacks or cartwheels or making funny faces. Do these images seem silly? That's good. Because the sillier the image, the more likely you'll remember it. Find something in the person's appearance, like their jewelry, clothing, face, hair, whatever. You will find it will really help you in remembering their name. For names beginning in C, like Connor, look at their coat and picture it as the first letter in their name. A pair of glasses that are held on the side look like a B. A lower lip and chin can form a D. An ear can look like a G. Sometimes patterns on clothing can form letters or give you other associations with names. I once met a technician at one of the theaters that I was touring at. And his name was Brooke, and he had a tattoo of a fish on his wrist. And I always associated him with Brooke Trout. Lastly, say the name again, either in conversation or to yourself, sometimes in the next minute or so, then again in five minutes or later, and when you part company or you go get a drink. Say the name again as you're driving home or the next morning. Say it again a week later, a month later, six months later, and you'll remember that name for a very, very long time. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button. 
And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook fan page, Twitter. Everything is under Hypnotist Jason Cyrus. Comment below and let me know if you have any tips on remembering people's names. And please share with your friends and family. Thank you all so much for watching. Mad love to you all.